In this video, we'll talk about surface tension as it applies to water. So surface tension, it's this property of a liquid like water that lets it resist an external force. That's because water molecules, they're sticky. They kind of stick together due to hydrogen bonding and that forms the surface tension. So something like this insect here, this water strider, it's pushing down, gravity's pulling it down, but the water's resisting that push because of the surface tension. So it can be on top of the water. We even see surface tension in outer space. Here on the space station, surface tension, that's what's making the water stick together and form this ball. So let's look at this diagram here to see how that works. We'll assume this black here, these black dots, they're the water molecules. Water molecules in the center of the liquid, like at the center of that sphere we saw on the space station, those water molecules in the center have more opportunity to bond, form weak hydrogen bonds with other water molecules. But the water molecules on the surface, they can only bond with the molecules below them and the ones next to them. And because there are fewer of these bonds, these bonds are stronger. And that's what creates the surface tension. Let's look at a simulation to really help us understand that. So here we have a group of water molecules, and they're in three dimensions. You can imagine them in three dimensions here. If you look at them closely, you'll see that the red is always pointing towards a white. That's because with water molecules, the oxygen, the red's a little more electronegative. So this is kind of a little more negative. The hydrogens are more positive. They line up so the positive and the negative attract each other. And you'll see that for all of these molecules here. Let's draw some hydrogen bonds in. So the green, those are the hydrogen bonds between atoms. They're not very strong, but they're strong enough to influence the properties of water. In real life, these molecules would be moving. Let's do that. So there they go. And you can see they're moving around. Hydrogen bonds are breaking and reforming. And they're loosely forming this sphere, just like we saw on the space station. Let's add some more water molecules. So here we have a bunch of water molecules. And you can see the reds are pointed to the whites. And the whites are pointed at the reds. That's the hydrogen bonds. Let's draw them in. And roughly, it again takes the shape of a sphere. What you'll notice, though, the atoms on the outside, on the surface of this sphere, they can't form as many hydrogen bonds as the atoms on the center. That's the surface tension. Because they can't form as many bonds, those bonds are going to be stronger, and that'll create surface tension, and it will actually force the water to take the shape of a sphere. Let's go back to our diagram. So you can see back at our diagram, the water molecules on the surface, they don't form as many bonds as those in the middle of the water, because of that, these bonds are stronger, these molecules are actually a little closer together, and we have surface tension. There are things that will reduce surface tension. Soap is excellent at reducing surface tension. If we put some soap in here, that would weaken the hydrogen bonds here, and we wouldn't have as much surface tension in the water. Could be tough for our little bug friend. Temperature and other types of solvents or solutes put within the water here, they also influence surface tension. This is Dr. B with the surface tension of water. Thanks for watching.